One of the most requested mods in Farming Simulator history is almost here. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early first look and showcase of JA Modding's John Deere 748X mower pack this is a pack that has been made for all platforms it includes one tractor with multiple different customization options plus we have 10 different attachments for it we've got a mower we've got a bagger we've even got a grass pickup for you guys even a front loader bucket leveler plow cultivator fertilizer spreader tipper trailer oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness we have so much to do today first up let's take a look at the tractor itself that comes with this this is going to be the John Deere 748X small tractor, I guess. Is it a mower? Is it a tractor? What is it? This is going to have 60 horsepower, 25 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour. It also drives backwards very quickly as well, which is phenomenal. We have customization options through the roof. We have an iron grid on the front. We have a back weight, a front weight, a front weight with iron grill, a back weight with iron grill, or none of the above. You can do whatever you want from there, then you're back to the iron grill. Attachments, standard, and you also have a three point in the back. You are going to need that attachment for at least one, if not a few different pieces of the attachments. Plus front loader, yes or no. This is a completely custom front loader that has been made specifically for this tractor. Speaking of that front loader, here it is, the John Deere 640R. This is going to look great on the front and we even have two attachments for it we have a bucket which will hold 400 liters and we have the lemon aka the leveler so you've got a leveler for the front where you can push things around do what you need to do there naturally with it being a mower we're gonna have a mowing deck for it. this is gonna be the john deere 748x mower 30 horsepower is required for this it is a one meter working width at nine miles per hour and we have multiple attachments for this as well starting off with the john deere 17p tipper now this is going to be a bulk tipper can be found of course in trailers 3000 liters so it is a very very respectable amount and it says it requires 30 horsepower but i think you're going to be just fine with this additionally we have a plow now this is not a john deere plow this is actually a lizard branded plow the dh 1048 45 horsepower is required one meter working width at seven miles per hour we also have a cultivator of course this could be found in disc arrows this is going to be the spike aerator from john deere it has some stones on top of it to weigh it down and you could feel that weight when you're trying to pull it around with the tractor itself this is going to require 10 horsepower one meter working width and 10 miles per hour when you're mowing sometimes you don't want to leave it on the ground sometimes you want to bag it up and that is exactly where the john deere bushel bagger comes into play this is going to load in 3000 liters needs 25 horsepower to run which will be fine with your mower and has a well it says a one meter working with this is actually kind of like a loading wagon type of sorts but it's at the end of the day a bagger however if you want something that will pick the grass up off the ground if you want to do a little bit more role play work well you could use the lawn sweeper this will also hold 3000 liters 20 horsepower says as has a one meter working with and this is going to load in different crops as well so you're going to have your grass hay straw silage and you're even going to be able to do chaff you could do those with the bagger as well you could turn this on separately from your mower and the last tool coming with this pack is going to be the john deere broadcast spreader this holds 2,000 liters of fertilizer lime and manure 2.3 meter working with 15 horsepower is required at 12 miles per hour so it is very reasonable especially with real life numbers i do have a bunch of different setups here that i'm going to show you guys and show you how you can maybe use some of this to your advantage first we have the uh, john deere tractor without a mower on it we've got a front loader with the bucket and we have a tipper so if you want to be doing some smaller jobs around the farm maybe that's going to be the setup for you next we have a mower with the loading wagon on the back now of course you're going to be mowing but what you could do is when you're coming through mowing on the other side you're actually going to be rolling over the areas that you've already mowed with the grass coming out the right hand side so you can actually pick that up every other run which is kind of neat here we have another lawn tractor type of thing no mower on the bottom of this we have the leveler on here and we have the fertilizer spreader very interesting to have the leveler on the front of this, but hey, you had to have something 
This is the most stereotypical setup that I think we're going to see from you guys. This is the John Deere mower. We've got the mowing deck on here and we have the bagging system. Here, you've got another bit of a lawn tractor. This is more of a garden tractor. Yeah, you've got the mower on there. Yeah, you've got the front loader with the bucket, but you've also got the plow on the back, which will require that three point hitch. And then lastly, yep, cultivator. <laughs> You can run around and do whatever you want with this. You know what? Let's get to mowing. Let's show you how this works first because the mower actually comes separately from the tractor itself. And you're going to want to know how to make this work. Well, simply just drive over it. You could actually get pretty close, like about right there, and it will do. But if you want to go all the way, roll right over it and you can mow. You also have the bagger back there, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Simply lower the deck, turn it on and rock and roll baby you could do this it also says you could hire a worker as well let's see if that breaks anything nope not at all we actually have a worker mowing our yard now how neat is that dude this is so cool it also rocks and rolls i mean yeah it's a little bit smaller it's a you know it's a baby tractor this is a very very small tractor and the grass comparatively in real life <laughs> you'd probably want to use a bush hog or something a little bit different from this in this size of grass but that lesson game hey you could do it and it's all good let's see how the worker does when they come down here to the very end okay they've done well they've raised the mower up watching them try to turn right here is going to be very interesting should see them back up here yep the worker is backing up and i think they're gonna line it all up perfectly for us just about yeah all right so they are mowing, they are rocking and rolling, they're kicking the grass off to the side and everything is looking good. Now, some of you may choose to use the bagging system for this. We'll tell you, yeah, it holds 3000 liters, but it still is going to load up pretty quick. So it's lower it, you will need to lower the bag, you will need to lower and turn both of them on. But as you can see, we are mowing and we're picking everything up. It's working just fine. Uh, not only that, because it is a one meter mowing system right here, this isn't going to fill up tremendously fast. It holds 3,000 liters. These numbers may change, but very unlikely that we're going to see that number change. But it holds 3,000 liters of, <laughs> of your grass in here. Also, if you've got hay, straw, silage, or chaff on the ground, you could use this to pick it up. You don't even need the mower installed, which is pretty, pretty cool. There you go. What happens when you get this all filled up? Simply drive off the field or wherever you want to go and you can unload straight. Now I will tell you, 3000 liters of grass is a lot of grass in game. So you can see, I mean, that's what 3000 liters of grass looks like. But you know, if you want to come back through and pick this up, I mean, <laughs> you can if you want to. I mean, look at that. Bloop. And we pick it up. Ah, oh, just a little bit more. Come on now. Let me have it. There we go. So we've got all 3,000 liters of our grass picked up. But uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can also... Oh, I still have it turned on. <laughs> Good job, DJ. You can also come through with your bucket and pick this up and put it in the tipper. Here you can see we have a very hefty amount of grass. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to set our trailer about right there. And we are going to select our bucket and we are going to control this. It's just like a normal front loader. So just kind of go up to it, pick up your grass. Oh, don't, don't dump it yet, DJ. Come on now. Lift it up high enough and then simply dump it in the bucket. And you could do as much of this as you would like. You could uh, cut it. Oh, don't be dumping it out now. You guys probably saw my video earlier today showing me try to use an excavator. I should not be allowed to do that. That's all I'm saying. But you could use it like this. Pretty neat, huh? Let's say you want to go through and you want to lift all this up. So we've got all this grass over here. We do have a mower right here. However, this is only going to pick up behind us. So let's lower the back down. Let's turn it on. It is a loading wagon. And as you can see, as we drive over things, we are loading through the bag in the back. Now, this is a real piece of equipment, which is really, really neat to see in farm sim. You see, coming around, picking it all up, boop, just like so. And 
When you're ready to unload, just do a force unload, and it will unload round towards the back. Yes, it may be a little bit less on the realistic side, but who cares? You get to use this and you don't have to stop like every five seconds to unload it. How cool is that? Let's say we want to do a little bit of field work. Maybe we've got a whole field like this, or maybe we want to create our own field. Let's jump in the version with the plow on the back. Now we do have a mower attached to this version as well. However, we're going to be creating our own field over here, just right beside it. So we're going to drop that down. We are going to allow create field to has a whole lot of dust. Man, oh man, goodness gracious. And uh, we're just gonna make our own. We might want to turn that that dust down just a little bit. That's a little bit much. Can't even see what you're doing down there. Man, oh man. Nonetheless, I mean, you've got an area where I hear you've got the ability with a plow to come through and plow up. Maybe we want to create a small little garden right here. Well, guess what? We could do that. We don't have a sower with this, which is a bit unfortunate, but hey, now we've plowed up an area. What about a cultivator? We just so happen to have one right here. Again, this is going to be the aerator. However, works just like a cultivator. So we're gonna grab this, bring it over, and simply just drop it down. And this is going to cultivate this area that we just did. Again, a little bit dusty. The unfortunate part is you need to be able to see kind of where you're going. So again, I'm gonna to talk to JA Modding about maybe bringing that down a little bit because Though it's cool, I can't see what I've done. And that's a bit unfortunate. All right, so we'll finish getting this all cultivated up. And then we need to give it uh, fertilizer and lime. We need to do all of that. And we've got just the thing right here. Let's come through. Let's lay some lime down right through here. Boom. Got it. Now we need to do a little bit of fertilizer, I think, right? Yeah, let's do a little bit of fertilizer. Now we can do manure or regular fertilizer. You know what? Let's do manure. Let's stick manure down through here. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Uh, it does empty quickly, though I think we all know that manure empties quickly. Uh, and there you go. Now we're ready to plant it and we can come back through and fertilize however we would like. You've got the tools to do all of, you know, small to medium. I oh, say small to me. It's small size. Let's be fair here. The small sized equipment, but it's very useful. Uh, this reminds me a lot of uh, A2 Studio and the fact that they said, all right, you want a John Deere mower? Here's like 11 things. <laughs> they give us things we didn't even know we needed. And it is so cool to see that. And I'm so excited for you guys to be able to enjoy this. This mod pack is still being worked on at the time of recording, but it is getting very, very close again from JA Modding for all platforms. Well, guys, that is everything that I know about the John Deere 748X mower pack by JA Modding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to jump if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos, no matter what they may be here on the channel. And check out JA Modding linked in the description below and a big shout out to them for sending this mod over and working with me to get this out to you guys as soon as possible big shout out to you bro thank you all being said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace